We are living in a world of uh, technologies. Um, some of them are great, uh, but some of them are broken and need to be fixed. Um, this video is going to be a true story, what just happened recently. Um, so please, if you could share this uh, with everyone. Um, I want to get this out as many people as uh, we can. If this is like, uh, so this thing uh, happened. Um, I, as many of you watching, you know, uh, mining hardware channel, uh, you know that we run an online shop and we sell mining hardware. Um, so yeah, this happened uh, uh, somewhere start of August. Uh, business was as usual, um, people buying products and we just, you know, building the mining rigs and shipping out the customers, uh, nothing special. Uh, but a couple of weeks in, in, uh, in August, I uh, started to notice um, something strange. You know, all the orders was going to uh, Sweden, um, one city, um, different addresses, and uh, under um, same surnames and maybe different names. Uh, uh, so I, yeah, it's it's maybe it's it's normal. You know, I didn't pay a lot, lot of attention until um, I received a uh, uh, message from PayPal as uh, one of the orders was unauthorized transaction. So this basically means, you know that the customer didn't make the transaction. Um, he's claiming that he didn't make the transaction that somebody else did in his um, place. So what I did, I contacted the PayPal. Um, they said, not to worry, you know, I'm seller protected on uh, uh, this. Um, if I have the tracking number and I, it shows that the item is delivered, uh, I told them, you know, this item wasn't shipped yet because the guy just ordered. And uh, he said, what to do then? Um, yeah, the, I, yeah he, they said uh, uh, the best is, you know, just not to ship the product and refund the money, which we, which we did. Um, so after this, I uh, thought I need to do a little bit more research on this, uh, what's going on. So I started to look on these orders and notice strange things, you know, they, they were ordering Unminer D3 miners and also some other miners, but the Unminer D3 is currently, you know, it's not profitable, you know, to mine with it. And... Um, you know, we had a strangely high, high demand on them. Um, also, they were going to one city in Sweden um, under uh, same surname, different names. Um, the orders was placed. So I thought, yeah, this is a little bit strange. You know, let's check out the uh, tracking numbers. What, is, what does the tracking number say? Um, and all the tracking numbers said, like, the, the customer has uh, refused the delivery. And later on, it was picked up from parcel model. So I ring up DHL and see what, what's the story um, with this. And uh, yeah, they say that, you know, in the Sweden there's such thing, you know, that like a parcel hotel, you know, if you are not in home, um, you can leave your, uh, the, the DHL, DHL courier, you can ask them to leave your parcel in the, this parcel motel and then you just later on come in and pick it up. So this is what happened. So yeah, I thought there is something really strange about this happening. And of course, there was uh, unauthorized transactions coming in one by one. So I <laughs> ring up PayPal again, and uh, this time they uh, say, you know, you're not covered for seller protection. <laughs> I thought, what the fuck, you know, <laughs> sorry for language, guys. But yeah, you know, you, you said it, I'm, I'm covered, and now you say I'm not covered. Uh, they say, yeah, sorry about this, you know, th there's nothing we can do, you know. But, you know, this is your job. You, you are um, advertising yourself as a safe, uh, payment gateway and uh, you allow these the stolen credit card transactions go through your system you know even the PayPal didn't catch them you know I I, I uh, did figure out this myself you know this could be should be done by PayPal so I told to them you know just uh, somebody just made a scam orders with stolen credit cards uh, over 25 uh, thousand euro and uh, you're not gonna do anything about it um, they say, yeah, it might take up to 90 days, but we only win about 40 cases, 40% of the cases, and, you know, uh, probably, <laughs> and they didn't give me even a reason proper why I'm not seller protected, because I, 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 I know by, by their rules, they say, if you ship tangible goods and you can prove it that it's being delivered, you are seller protected. So I'm not really sure. I will update you as this uh, moving forward and what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, this is the, the thing, you know, why sh we should use a, a blockchain technology. Um, 
if everyone would use this, uh, like for example, Bitcoin, you know, the, the, the world would be a much safer and better place, you know, for the sellers, buyers, and users, um, as there is no easy way, as easy way as to stole the uh, stole the credit card data, uh, then uh, stole a, a Bitcoin a private key uh, to access to the wallet. It's much more harder, and. Uh, this will make uh, the, the world much better place. Also, I'm reaching out to you uh, just so you know. Uh, just be careful if you are a seller. Um, this is what could happen to you. And be, mer be more careful with the, your uh, business. And uh, yeah, I know um, um, blockchain technology and cryptocurrency payments are coming sooner than later. But I want this to happen to, uh, sooner to you guys because there's a lot more opportunity on this. Um, and uh, yeah, please share this with everyone uh, you know. Uh, one people uh, can make a difference. Many, uh, it's more, <laughs> more possibility to make a difference in, uh, in this. Um, if everybody starts to use blockchain technology, and this is one of the main reasons, especially in digital payments, I'm not talking about the uh, um, cash payments, which is also a lot of fraud, uh, fake money and so on. Um, yeah, please guys share this and uh, thank you for tuning in for this video. I will update you uh, moving forward what's going on with this case, but this, this could happen to anyone. Take care.